The Monash Institute of Medical Research and Prince Henry's Institute have recently merged to form one of the largest medical research institutes in Australia. We are an institute that accommodates 450 scientists and students. So we are one of the largest research institutes in Australia. Our mission is to improve global well-being through excellence in medical research and its clinical application. We have a strong tradition of basic clinical and translational research. Many of the senior endocrinologists around Australia are initially trained through our centre and indeed a number of leaders in centres around the world trained at the, at the Institute. So the, the influence of uh, the Institute in endocrinology extends well beyond Melbourne, beyond Australia and, and, and internationally. Dr Rutt Young's research is in the area of cardiovascular disease. We all know that cardiovascular disease is a significant clinical and economic burden worldwide. Uh, what we also know and the work that we're doing has identified the mineral acorticoid receptor as playing a very important role in the development of cardiovascular disease. We know in the clinic that mineral acorticoid receptor antagonists provide excellent cardiac protection, but a lot of these antagonists are, are associated with significant side effects such as hyperkalemia. So what we're trying to do is to identify ways that we can develop more selective antagonists for the mineral acorticoid receptor that will allow us to achieve this excellent cardiac protection that the current antagonists have but that we, that we can also avoid the significant side effects. What we've done recently, and working with uh, Dr Amanda Rickard, who's now a postdoc in my laboratory, is to use a series of transgenic animal models uh, to identify cell-specific roles for mineral acorticoid receptor signalling in the cart. We've shown that deleting the mineral acorticoid receptor from macrophages prevents hypertension, cardiac fibrosis and cardiac inflammation. Now given that inflammation plays a key role in a range of pathological conditions, I'm currently exploring the role of the mineral acorticoid receptor in macrophages in other disease models. We are also working to understand how we can regulate the mineral acorticoid receptor at a molecular level. This work is being undertaken by Dr Jun Young, a postdoc in my laboratory, and involves important collaborations with Professor Peter Fuller and Dr Colin Klein at the Institute. My postdoctoral work in the cardiovascular endocrinology lab looks at the molecular biology of the mineral acorticoid receptor. In particular, I'm using a novel technique called phage display to um, try and discover new tissue selective coregulators for the MR, mineral acorticoid receptor. We know um, it's important to block the MR um, for some diseases such as primary aldosteronism but tissue selective blockade of the MR is even more important for treatment of a very common condition called heart failure. So it would be ideal if we can design an MR blocker that only targets the heart but does not block the MR in the kidneys so as to optimise the therapeutic benefits but minus the um, harmful side effects. We have a close connection between the work that's done by the cardiovascular group here that are directly treating patients and Morag's research, enabling translation of her laboratory findings into the clinic. In addition to Dr Young's work, uh, the Institute uh, has internationally recognised programs in reproductive endocrinology, in endocrine oncology, in metabolic disease and in endocrine hypertension. The translational research facility that is presently being constructed will allow the translation of our research findings in the laboratory to clinical application by providing a venue for the close interactions between scientists and clinicians. The Institute is such a great place to work simply because of the people and the science. We're constantly broadening our knowledge and understanding of how both pathological and physiological systems work. 